Hi, my name is Brian Norton with the NData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads, and today we're going to be taking a look at a Mac accessibility option called Speak Item Under Pointer. So let's go ahead and take a look. So today we're going to talk about a feature on your Mac called Speak Item Under Pointer. Uh, this is really helpful for folks who may have low vision or just difficulty reading printed text. And so, um, and that could be a variety of different needs behind that. It could be a learning disability. It could be a vision need. Um, whatever the issue is, this will help you be able to kind of read different text on your screen just simply by hovering the mouse pointer over top of a word or a phrase or a sentence. And so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go first to our settings menu. So I'll open that up. And under our settings menu, we're going to go to accessibility. Um, under accessibility, we're going to go to spoken content. And under spoken content, I'm going to turn on speak item under pointer. Before I go on, I'm um, just speak want item to... under the pointer. Check. There you go. Um, it's already doing it. Um, I wanted to go up and, and give you just to let you know at the top of this screen, there is um, ways to be able to change your system voice or your system language, the speaking rate or the speaking volume. It's important to get that set appropriately for yourself before you jump in because that is the default um, voice and language for all of the different spoken content features. And so um, definitely do that. Um, I'm gonna turn this off first, and then I'm gonna go under the information button just because I just don't want it to read a bunch of stuff while we're looking at some of the features here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the information button. That'll give you a couple of different controls. Um, it comes with a couple of different options. It comes with always, um, which is what I'm going to set it to because I'm not going to use the zoomed feature. Um, so typically, a lot of times you're using this with a magnifier, uh, which is zoom in a Mac um, or on a Mac. Um, and so sometimes you only want it done if you've got low vision when it's zoomed. Um, and, but I'm going to want it to be able to show it to you in our tech tip today. So I'm doing always. Um, you can change the verbosity. Um, so from low, medium to high, verbosity is how much it will speak or how much information it's gonna provide you based on what you're hovered over. And then you can also change how long the delay is or how long do you have to hover over something for it to be able to read to you. Uh, and so I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it kind of in the middle and say, okay. And then again, I'm gonna turn this on and come out here to my Word document. I'm gonna type some text. How are you today? I hope everything is well. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my mouse pointer here and just kind of hover over um, the- Hello word. there, how are you today? I hope everything is well. There you go. Um, again, I come up here to my menu system developer selected view selected again i'm just hovering i'm leaving it there for just a short hello there of time. how are you today i hope everything is well yep just kind of letting it sit there for a period of time and again you can adjust that time difference it can make it longer you can make it shorter um, but again that that's really helpful for folks so that if you're if you're navigating you've got low vision uh, maybe a learning disability once it hits text, um, leaving it there for just a moment, um, it's going to go ahead and read whatever's underneath that pointer. Well, that's your tech tip for today. I want to say thank you to the Indiana Telephone Relay Access Corporation for sponsoring our captions today. My name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.